coming. Great, yeah. It's cool to be here. Great, thanks. Let me show you our dressing room. Great. I just loved you in blue velvet. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, mark my spot. Parked in my spot again. <laughs> I warned you. Chevy Chase Show from Hollywood. Tonight, actor Dennis Hopper. The world's top two ranked women's billiard players. Actress Anita Morris. Singing group The Enchanters. News update. And Tom Scott of the Hollywood Express. Now, here he is. Thank you. Boy. Okay, all right. Thank you very thank you very much. I don't want to have to get tough with you. That's enough. There's gonna be a scrotal incision made if I hear any more. <laughs> Boy, you know, every day I learn something new and remarkable about the uh, talk show business. For instance, it's true. Did you know uh, that every time I say the word fabulous on this show, I have to send Merv Griffin 50 bucks? <laughs> uh, boy, you're a great audience. You know, um, you really are. Last night's audience was... This is, this is a good audience. What? What'd he say? Uh, last night, I, I, I mentioned that uh, my wife uh, has been, uh, well, she's been made the spokeswoman for the uh, Solid Waste Management Board, and I'm very proud of her, because I'm not the kind of celebrity that likes a grandstand for his causes. That's not me. There is one concern I have that I'm very glad to give a plug for, and that is recycling. It's vital to the survival of the planet. And one way we recycle here at the show is uh, we use last night's pizza boxes for today's cue cards, uh, as you can see. Boy, I thought that joke would work a little better. We got a great show for you tonight. Actor Dennis Hopper, the number one and two ranked women's billiard players. Robin Bell and Lori John Jones. And from the new show, Trade Wins, Anita Morris. My singing group, The Enchanters, are back. News update and Tom Scott and the band. Ah! 
Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, this is cold. <laughs> now we're to do something we did last week. Uh, we call it uh, Talk to Chevy. Uh, what it is, it's a way to get to know uh, my fans a little bit better without them actually breathing on me. Uh, <laughs> we took a camera around the city and we asked people if they had any questions for me, and uh, they did. Michael, do you just roll them and I'll watch the monitor for the questions. First question? Yo, Chevy, this is Pappy from Venice Beach. When you gonna come out and roller skate with the gang on Sunday, huh? <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, Pappy. On Sunday, I'm boogie boarding with Snuffy and Stinky. <laughs> Next. Chevy, can I be on your show? <laughs> oh, boy, sure, any time. Boy, that whole divorce thing's really taken its toll on you, hasn't it, Lonnie? <laughs> Next. How did you get your name? I mean, Chevy Chase is something I've heard of in different places on communities and streets and so on. How did you get the name Chevy Chase? I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll answer your question if you'll answer mine. How is it that the professor could build a radio out of coconuts, but he couldn't build a boat to get off that damn island? Hello, I'm Michael. I'm from sunny Venice, California. And I would like to know, why is it when I pour beer in this here, it comes out the other one? <laughs> I don't know, but aren't you one of Bill Clinton's uh, half-brothers? Or... <laughs> Next, next. Hi, Chevy. My name is Sean, and I was wondering, what do I need to do to get on your show? <laughs> <laughs> what do you need to get on my show? Obviously not much. <laughs> next. Okay, hi, Chevy. I'm Sarah from Halifax in England. I don't want you to guess what's in the bag. What's in the bag? I, I don't know. Tom, can you guess what's in her bag? Tom? What's, what, sorry? Can Chevy? you guess what's in her bag? Oh, I, I was reading the paper. Oh, pay attention. You might miss something important. Yeah, right. Any more? Hi, Chevy. This is Nicole from Tacoma, Washington. And I was just wondering what's the most embarrassing moment you've ever had? Mm, let's see. The most embarrassing moment I've ever had. Let me see. <laughs> Everybody! Next question, please. Chevy, are you as clumsy in real life as you are on the screen? Well, why don't I let you be the judge of how clumsy I am in real life? Watch this. Did a clumsy person do that? All right, I want to thank you all for being here. We got a great show tonight. Dennis Harper will be out in a minute. Later, Anita Morris, a news update. We'll be right back. Our fish tank is, uh, is okay, it's just a little musty tonight. Apparently the, the fish uh, ate the wrong thing or something, but they're not, they're not dead. That wasn't a joke. Apparently the fish ate something, uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, it'll be back tomorrow, it'll be much better. Uh, we have yellow tang in there, among other things. Hey, uh, right now I'd like to bring out my first guest. She's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm lying. He has played some of Hollywood's more bizarre characters over the past few years. Currently, he's starring in True Romance as Christian Slater's dad. Please welcome Dennis Hopper. Hey,
Big, 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 Whoa! big Whoa! fan of yours, a big star. Yeah. We'll just whisper. Do you have any problems uh, parking today? No, no. I found a I found a place right out in front, right first first space, uh, right in front. Right in front. Yeah, right by the front door. What? No, I, I somebody parked at my place and uh... oh hell, we'll tell them. We were kidding. <laughs> Uh, what? Oh, you don't know. What? I guess you weren't there. We shot it after you left. No, what? I tried to break your window. Are you serious? No. No. Huh? They are. You broke my window. <laughs> this is a good start, isn't it? What? I... <laughs> if you pretend you weren't in that piece, I'm going to go what? play pool. What piece? <laughs> yeah! Oh, you mean the piece when yeah. we started the show yeah, today? All right. Uh, now, this audience has got me discombobulated. Aren't they amazing? You know, it's they're a great audience. Great. I heard, is it true that they had you waiting out there? I mean, you wait from 10 in the morning or something? Yeah. Great. It's great. Well, I think they waited for you. No, no, they waited for you, man. I just, yeah. That's no, great. You, you are, uh, uh, we might as well get to an interview of some kind. Oh, yeah. Ask me anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're such a big star, and, and you've had so many real cult hits. Uh, my favorite movies, I like Easy Rider and Blue Velvet. Easy Rider. Easy Rider. Yeah. Do you remember yeah, that? I vaguely remember that. <laughs> I vaguely remember it, too. <laughs> yeah, we I probably was... saw it together. <laughs> no, I, I think you were in it, and I saw it. Oh, That's okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Apocalypse Now, do you have any uh, now. memory of that? That's that's even dimmer. That's a dim one. How about True Romance? Uh, you True remember? Romance, I remember. You do? Yeah. True Romance is good. Yeah. That's the one you just made. Yeah, just made it. Yeah, it's terrific. It's just out. And, and See it. It's uh, really good. It's uh, really good. Is, uh, is uh, Christian Slater your, your kid in that? Yeah, that's I, play, what I, said. I play Christian's dad. Yeah. And uh, so he's about great, your age, isn't he? Oh, yeah, we're the same age. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, they, makeup does wonders. <laughs> really, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's roll a clip. Okay. Roll a clip of that. Yeah. I want to see who's older. Yeah. That boy, your boy hangs around with a pimp. He's an associate of mine. I mean, he's pimping and other affairs. He works for me in a courier capacity. Well, apparently. A dirty little whore found out I'm going to do some business. Because your son, the cowboy, is flame. Came in the room blazing and didn't stop till they were pretty sure everybody was dead. What are you talking about? I'm talking about a massacre. They snatched my narcotics. I hightailed it out of there. Would have got away with it, but your son left his driver's license in a dead guy's hand. <laughs> you know, I don't believe you. Uh, that's that's a scene between Chris Walken and myself. And Chris Wa Chris Walken is a uh, mafia enforcer, and he's trying to find out from me where my son is. And uh, uh, I don't give my son up, but it's a very brutal scene. But it's really uh, it was really wonderful working with Walken in that. He's and a great I, actor. Yeah, yeah. It's so hard to distinguish if I'm younger or older than than Chris. Chris, well, yeah, Christian Slater, but. In that scene, however, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can see what makeup does for me. Yeah. Oh, you're beautiful. It puts on weight and yeah. very beautiful tonight. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you play a cop in that then. Yeah, I play a night watchman. Actually, uh, I was a, I was a cop, but my alcohol took my job away, my family away, etc. Oh. Put me in a little trailer with my dog with Rommel. Me. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you, you're, you're sober now, right? I, no, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I believe. Yeah. Well, that makes one of us. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and being sober, uh, you have a new son. I know uh, Henry. He's three. Three. Yeah. As opposed to uh, older daughters. I have two older daughters. Yeah. yeah. I have one thirty-one, one twenty-one, and Henry, who is three years old, Saturday. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you have any memories of your daughters? Yeah, actually, I do. I do. <laughs> Well, I you know, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm kidding too no, much no, about that stuff, but um, 
But working you with, were kidding about the huh? car. No, the car, I wasn't no, kidding about no, the car. No. Uh, but working with Chris Walken, you, you've also worked with some of the great stars of the past and present, among whom, of course, is Jack Nicholson, who's a friend of mine. Uh, do you, do you, does he come over much? Do you see him much? Does he babysit or is he a... Jack is really playing golf a lot, you know, and uh, I'm trying to get a game with him, but I tell you, man, uh, you? actually we went to the Super Bowl together. We had a great time at the Super Bowl. You and Jack? Yeah, Jack's terrific, as you know. I mean, he's a great guy. Oh, yeah, what very, very funny. Guy. Yeah, yeah, very funny guy. Oh, yeah. Beautiful man. Yeah. Actually, I saw him at the Neil Young concert. <laughs> I don't believe it. You, I saw Mr. Born to be wild plays golf, you're telling me. Yeah. Jack Nicholson. Yeah, Nicholson's playing golf. I'm playing golf. He's playing better golf than me. It's really, what, what do you, you know, see in golf? This golf thing huh? is really weird, huh? What do you see in him? In golf, I mean. What do I see in golf? <laughs> yeah. A little white ball on a good day. <laughs> I, I, I play tennis. I think golf is a, it's a good walk, and then it's sort of like pool on a big field. On it's a, lawn. a strange, it's a strange game, you know. Yeah. I mean, nobody's doing, you know, in, in tennis they're serving you a ball and so on. Yeah. Uh, you don't have that. Uh, you don't have that in golf. It's just you and the golf ball. Nobody's doing anything to you. You're doing it all, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> I, Will Rogers said. I think he said that. Uh, um, that he had never been angry enough at himself to take up golf. <laughs> Didn't he also say, be the ball? <laughs> Woo! Hey, all right. <laughs> I, I played golf in Caddyshack. <laughs> well, um, maybe we'll play a couple of games, because I'm actually a very good golfer. I'm a scratch golfer. I bet golfer. you are. Yeah. I bet you are. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Okay. Nice Thanks for coming. You. <laughs> wardrobe is extremely important. Believe it or not, there are nine people on the Fox payroll whose only job is to choose the color of my belt. And I'm just a talk show host. You can imagine what it must take to choose the wardrobe of someone who runs an entire country. Well, we studied a particular group of powerful leaders to demonstrate this point. So here's this fall's collection of designer dictators. General Manuel Noriega of Panama stays on the military track in a crisp, casual, short sleeve looking tiger tan. The service hat has that spunky Scooby Swoop top. Here the Panamanian strongman chooses the longer sleeve with epaulets defining the shoulders. Together these ensembles will fit any occasion. But who cares about the uniform with this to die for hat and saucer straw with turned up brim and fluttery ribbons of red, white and blue. Don't throw away your camouflage. General Pinochet of Chile shows that you don't have to be at war to look fantastic in these tiny swampy swirls. Here's China's party leader Deng Xiaoping wearing his lively signature ensemble in dusky gray. The thread fabric and even the buttons are perfectly dyed to match his hair. And the jacket shows a playful spirit with pointy cowboy pockets on top. For a quiet, reflective moment, Iraqi President Saddam Hussein wears a gremlin green two-piece and hip-length jacket caught at the waist with whiplash leather and topped with a jaunty beret. This outfit works whether talking to troops or dancing till dawn. And watch how gracefully the perfectly tailored sleeve moves upward, showing off a hefty sidearm snapped into an elegant holster. For fun, Hussein chooses a fedora from the 40s to accessorize his funky field vest. We can always count on Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi for the new, the trendy, the untried. Like this platinum jacket and pretty plump pink shirt. Here Muammar relaxes in a soft sateen suit in Rusty Warrior, topped with an eggplant hat. Over it, he throws a dove white Roman toga with matching high heel boots. Let's bring out the hardware. And we're not talking about tanks. The action here is in the epaulets. General Pinochet of Chile wears epaulets of shooting stars on a formal jacket positively dripping with glamorous jewel-encrusted medals. The late Uganda dictator Idi Amin's epaulets form a row of lucky charms. And notice how the splash of red sets off the gold on his cap. Once again, here's Saddam, dressed in a flowing guava green great coat for a glittering evening in Baghdad. The understated epaulets and overstated sleeves are this year's hottest look. All right. Very funny. 
My next guests are the top-ranked women pool players in the world today. They are competing in a nine-ball tournament at the Bicycle Club Casino this week. Please welcome Robin Bell and Laurie John Jones. Laurie John? What kind of name is Laurie John? Lori John is a combination together. between my parents. Uh-huh. Oh, you got your, your dad was Lori? And, uh... yeah, of course. <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> so, what are we going to do here? Who, who, who's, who's ranked number one between you? I am. Yeah, but... And you're number two? Yeah, but, you know, I'm only 100 points behind in this tournament. If I do good and Robin does bad, I'm right up there. 100 but, points, we know that everybody knows 100 points is an A, so I've got, like, a perfect score. She has no chance. Oh, she has no chance? <laughs> well, if, if you play... If you play head-to-head, -head, who, who wins most of the time? I do. I do. Okay. okay, what are we going to do here? I, I love to play pool. Okay, well, this shot here, here, Chevy. Yeah. This is a Nucci Q stick for you to uh -huh. Oh, I could have used this in my car. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to make four balls in one shot, okay? And then I'm going to have you do it. Huh? We're going to see if this works here. Oh. Okay, now wait, now wait. Oh, uh, wait, you, you didn't make four. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, but you can. That's okay, because Maybe I'm going to see, it. I'm testing to see if you can. Okay. <laughs> this is also, a test. Also, remember, she... we practiced this before, really. Who? You guys did. <laughs> okay, what do you want That's me to why do? That's Hit the, uh... All right. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, I can't... Okay, now, I want you to hit the one ball right here. Yeah. And you're going to make four balls. All right. This makes them look good, guys, if, if right. it goes. Thank you. How about you, Robin? Do you have a, you have a trick I can learn? Well, this is not a trick. Oh, I, in that case, uh, forget it. I play, pro <laughs> I play professionally, so it's not so much the fancy stuff that I do. <laughs> what we play in tournaments is nine ball. Which nine ball, you have to go in rotation. One through the nine, whoever pockets the nine ball is the one that wins the game. Now you could play combinations or whatever, as long as you hit the lowest numbered ball first. Every once in a while, we have a shot that'll come up that you're hooked. For an example, if all the balls are on the table, yeah. say they're all scattered around. Do you guys now, have a shot on this? That, that, that you can, can you see that all the balls are lined up here? Of course not. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's a... Hey, that okay. Good, good. Okay. okay. Yeah. So the object is, I have to make the two ball because it's the lowest numbered ball on the table. Uh -huh. Okay, I have a special cue called the frog. It's a special, de special designed to jump cue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump the cue ball over the three ball and pocket the two ball, and then I get another shot on the three ball, and then if all the balls are on the table, I'm running out. Well, get to it. Strong, this sounds That's great, good. yeah. Wish I had a frog that's called cue. <laughs> Great. I don't think I could do that. Well, you yes, you can do that. One? Huh? Can I don't do think I could do uh, well, that. I, I didn't know, know they made a, a cue that was just for uh, jumping over other now balls. we're going to try this shot again. Huh? We're going to try something like this huh? again. Okay. What do you want me to do? Okay, it's what I want you to do... Shot. Oh, it is? is? I'm going to have you do the jump shot. The frog jump cue is for novice players as well as professionals. Uh-huh. All I have to do is teach you the concept... Are you calling me a novice? <laughs> Are you calling me a novice? Well, you know what? Is she calling me a novice? <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Now, the thing is, is you can actually do the jump shot with the frog. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Okay. You want me to do it? Yes. Yeah. The concept is just go in through the cue ball. I can't get to that, through the thing here. Sure. No problem. The frog's going to do the work. Now, you remember where you hit this three ball. Where? You must hit right the three here. ball. You have to th hit oh, the three ball right here. I haven't got a chance. You're going to go down into the shot. Into there the you shot. go. Like this? Just hit the three ball. All right, wait a minute. The frog will do the rest. I just lost the contact. Wait a minute. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Uh, well, I'll tell you, you are good. Uh, oh. Uh, hold it. Uh. We'll be right back. Yeah. 
It's time now for News Update with our anchor, Chevy Chase. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we need uh, some eggs and uh, some uh, milk and uh, uh, some more condoms. Uh, no, no, magnum size. Yeah. Okay, then you'll do that, honey? Okay, okay. So long, Fred. Good evening. I'm Chevy Chase. Our top story, just two days after representatives signed a historic agreement for peace, the occupied Gaza Strip witnessed an outbreak of violence today between Palestinians and Israelis. As officials from both sides put it, hey, you don't just drop a national pastime overnight. <laughs> the rioting injured four Israelis, a number of Palestinians, a trucker, uh, and trucker Reginald Denny, who, as luck would have it, was driving through Gaza on vacation. Meanwhile, after a long day of celebrating the new peace accord, Israeli soldiers took time out this afternoon to make room for more beer. <laughs> in Washington, three ex-presidents joined President Clinton in promoting the uh, North American Free Trade Agreement. They say that the pact should help the U.S. economy in the long run. Besides, said former President Bush, what do we care? We already lost our jobs. <laughs> Bill Clinton took an unexpected jog this morning after his driver accidentally slammed his arms in the trunk of the presidential limousine and drove off to Virginia. <laughs> in response to the recent violence against uh, visitors from Germany and England, the Florida Tourist Board has pulled its European advertisements. Uh, advertisements. Uh, they instead recommended going somewhere safer, like Sarajevo. <laughs> in New York, a record 5,000 people were summoned for jury duty uh, in the trial of the four suspected uh, in the bombing of the World Trade Center, which is more than the entire season attendance for the New York Mets. <laughs> the American Bar Association President William Ide released a statement that Raymond Burr was a positive role model for lawyers. Lawyers for the estate of Mr. Burr later sued the Bar Association for using his name without permission. <laughs> B-5. <laughs> N-30. G-34. <laughs> I-20. Corporate officials have proudly announced a merger between Paramount and Viacom, the company that owns MTV. The new company will combine the strengths of Paramount's Eddie Murphy movies with the MTV's youth appeal in the first of its new projects, Beverly Hills Butthead. <laughs> and finally, as reported yesterday, German scientists have devised a new form of birth control for men, a tiny device implanted in the scrotum that kills sperm by electrocution. <laughs> Sex experts are already discounting the electrocution advice and say, device and say that the same effect can be achieved by making love on a new shag carpet. <laughs> and that's all the news we have tonight. Good night and have a pleasant... Tomorrow on the Jimmy Chase Show, from Beverly Hills 90210, Jenny Garth. Garrett Morris, and 12-year-old pianist Sergio Salvatore. But stay tuned for actress Anita Morris and music from Chevy and the Enchanters. Coming up after this. started her career on the Broadway stage and today she's starring in the new TV miniseries Trade Winds. Let's take a look at the uh, clip. All right. Oh, no. Look what you did to my car. That's nothing. Watch this. All right. Are we even now? Stay away from my family. Oh, if I recall correctly, family doesn't include ex-husbands. I swear, I'll go straight to Robert and I'll tell him... What? What? 
that you caught Rick and me together in a hotel room? Be my guest. How did Robert ever end up with trash like you anyway? Mama, have we forgotten under what cloud you first arrived on this island? Or is all that black hair I caused amnesia? You try a stunt like that again, and it won't just be your car with a little front end damage. I'm calling my lawyer. Bitch! <laughs> Sweater or anything? No, no. Do you know what this is? This is, I, I watched all the talk shows now to see what people are wearing. Yeah. And the women are wearing either little black dresses, white pantsuits, or a workout outfit. So this is a combination of a little black dress and a workout outfit. Yes, it is. <laughs> Any particular place you'd like me to talk? Just, just your face. Sure. All right. Uh, I understand if two problems making our trade wins. Is that true? This was the hardest shoot I've ever done in my life. I mean, it's interesting when you watch the clip, you can't tell it, but... Are you kidding? Was... That slap? <laughs> that was, a... can't that tell was the easy part. Yeah. That was the easy part. It was so hot. We filmed this in St. Martin's, and riding in that car, it was like 100 degrees. It's 100... It was 100% humidity. The sun's only five miles from the surface of the earth down there. Yeah. So... We, 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 we um, gave the hospital a lot of business. The first time we tried to film that scene, I'm driving the car. I'm having a terrible chill. Then I get so hot I can't stand it. It's 100 degrees in the car. I fall out of the car into the gutter. They take me to the hospital. I have a temperature of 104, and I have Shanghai fever. The water on the set was poison, oh. and I got a, a form of typhoid fever. I'm in the hospital on an IV. Then, a, there's more? That's more. Yeah. Then we come back, we're going to film this scene again. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you saw me driving, and then I had one shot where you see my point of view where I hit that stuff. You know, all we do is swerve around this car and we hit all that stuff. Well, the stunt man did me, he drove the car, and the cameraman, the assistant cameraman, are taking it my point of view. Stunt man missed the swerve which is easy, missed the swerve, he hit a um, curb, he hit a bridge, he hit a wall, the cameraman goes through the windshield, taking the assistant cameraman with him, they land up in the street, they go to the hospital. <laughs> so we literally, we stepped over the bodies and we filmed that scene, it turned out pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh... You're saying uh, it, was, it was hot and wet. It was hot and wet. It was hot and wet. Uh, 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 Anita, I, I, I know you're not just an actress. Uh, clearly, you're many things. Uh, but you're also an inventor. Is that yes. right? Yes. Now, yeah. see, I brought this for you. For me? Yes. I now, thought that was part of your outfit. No, no. Oh. <laughs> this is Dr. Morris's posture stick. This is my first invention and my only invention. It's Dr. Morris's? Dr. Morris. My father's oh, oh, a chiropractor, yes. mm -hmm. Dr. Morris. Sure. And um, so we were... I'm very interested in posture. I'm 50 years old. This is my 50th year. Really? Yeah. Thank you. So I know what I'm talking about. I don't want anybody 25 years old that does not understand what is going to happen to a person talking to me about staying in shape. Yeah. If you're not 45, you don't understand what's going to hit you later. So, uh, um, so... Better than being poked in the eye with a posture stick. <laughs> I know. Did I almost get you? Here. No. No, no. Okay. So, um... Sorry, it's getting hot and wet in here. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. 
One of the quickest ways to improve, to improve your appearance yeah. <laughs> yeah. is to improve your posture. Of course. And, and, right. And one of the quickest ways to age yourself. Now, this is true. Do you know that, that we pack a quarter of an inch a day? And at night, we repair. But as we're sitting here, we're packing. Yeah, I, well, I pack about eight inches a day. <laughs> well... Well, 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 let, well, let's get to the posture stick, Roger's because I can't wait to pack a couple okay. more. Okay. Yeah. Stand up. All right, I am standing. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You want me out here? All right, here I go. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me just feel. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. You want to frisk me or? No. Okay. Yeah, I want to see what shape you're in. You're well, a, well you're I haven't a, even made a muscle yet. Oh, you're a fine. Man. I never flex. Yes. We only have 30 seconds, so let's get to it. Oh goodness gracious. Okay. All right. Then I'll do it very fast. Okay. okay. Now. Oh. oh all right. Uh, Wait uh, a minute. Okay. Right. Then let me show you. No, no. Okay. Uh, don't show me anything. Uh, I mean, do show me up. Yeah. Okay. This is what we associate with youth. I will walk. We, we associate stomach in, mm -hmm. that's right, the weight goes forward. Right. Now, as we age... In your age, case, it does, yeah. Okay. In my case... As we age, this tucks in, this goes under. Look at the difference in my body. This is why George Burns walks the way he does. <laughs> I mean, so, in order for that not to happen... Here, I'm going to put this on you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now, wait a minute. I was here waiting for something. Yeah. Okay. Put your arm through here. Moon River. Here. What? Huh? Oh. Here? Yeah. Okay. Put your arms on Okay. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Put your shoulders back. Yeah. Now. Hold your, wait a minute. We gotta do this. That's very comfortable. That's great. No, no, I'll, I'll keep it. It's fine. Yeah. Let me just get back up. You sit down, I'll get back to my seat. Right. Yeah, that's neat. It really does work. It does. Yeah, it's great. I, I know it's... Ah! I'm sorry. Uh, we'll, we'll be right back.
travel range through Continental. One airline can make a difference. One pass lets you earn free travel faster than any other airline. That's the difference on Continental. Ah, tomorrow, Beverly Hills 90210, actress Jenny Garth, Garrett Morris, 12-year-old pianist Sergio Salvatore. I'd like very much to thank Dennis Hopper, Anita Morris, Robin Bell, Lori Gunn Jones, the Enchanters, Tom Scott and the band, and you are wonderful. You. Provided by the Bellage, West Hollywood's deluxe all-suite hotel. Combining sophistication and contemporary elegance, Bellage, a refuge from everything ordinary. <laughs>